Welcome to the Nexus Institute. Uh, first, I'd like to know, uh, what do you think Nexus stands for and why do you consider it's important? Well, for me, when I think of the word Nexus, I think of a passage. And I think that uh, to how to bring knowledge from one generation to the other is a thing of passage. And um, to understand what this knowledge really is about and why it concerns something like ethics or morals or basically humanity in a way that everybody's part of it, but we need some kind of rules and respect for each other. This is why I think it's so important. And how do you think an activity like the symposium today uh, will help to achieve such goals? I always doubt that activities like directly help because I think an activity like this symposium is people talking about something that is relevant to the people who sit in the audience and that they think about it themselves and that they think about what way they treat something like education or communication with younger than others in their own lives. And making people think is, I think, the most important thing a symposium ever could reach. And uh, this symposium is going to be about uh, Bildung. What do you consider um, essential Bildung? Well, the essential Bildung is the education of the heart. Because you can know everything and be a human being that hurts other human beings and you've lost everything in that moment. So I think something like empathy and, and respect, and also respect to yourself and your own abysses and the things who will never fit together is essential for, for education. And then, of course, this idea of what happened centuries and, and, mil <laughs> and centuries ago, and also what happens in other cultures. How do other cultures solve the same problems? We all have the same problems of life and death, of sexuality and work, of food and of spirituality. And to have the courage to learn from better solutions, I think, is the goal of education. At this symposium, we also present uh, an issue of our journal, Nexus, uh, which contains your contribution. Uh, and we, and we asked you the question, uh, which work of art do you consider um, somehow essential for people, young people to learn? Um, what would be your answer? Well, the first I said I would choose a book. <laughs> um, because while well, music and the arts enrich my life, books are my life. And books are the perpetuators and witnesses of paradoxical human natures and that teach us empathy and knowledge and, and things. And because I think that the first step is to regain yourself. And oneself, I would choose a philosophical book. Of course, I mentioned all the others I did not choose because what I really want to talk about is the love of books. But I choose one, Seneca, The Life is Short. And in this essay, he tries to remind his friend that the most important thing is to take care of one's own soul and to live one's own life, and thereby, over the centuries, he challenges the reader to do the same. That's a wonderful choice uh, and a wonderful essay. Um, I'll let you go now, but I'll ask you one final question. Uh, the, the motto of the Institute is understanding through context. Um, what do you think of that? Is that an important goal? Yes, I do think so, because I think that um, we have two things. <laughs> we have the things, and we have the space between the things. <laughs> and an Aisnin once said, we do not see the things as they are, we see them as we are. And understanding the context from Heisenberg to the phenomenology is understanding that we cannot see the thing itself. And to reflect the context is also to reflect otherwise in seeing it. And this is the beginning of something I would call freedom.